All right, guys, firstly, you're going to introduce yourselves to everybody back home. Tell us what your weight class is and, and what's been your experience so far here. Go. My name is Richie, I'm 64 kgs. Um, my experience to date has been um, just getting in the ring, punching people in the face. I love it. So. Fair. And I'm Leroy Hindley, 69 kilo fighter for New Zealand. Uh, it's my second Commonwealth game, so I'm pretty happy for it. I'm Ryan Scaife, I'm a 75 kg fighter. Uh, been cool so far in the village, we've been given some, some little things. It's cool. well, how have you changed as a fighter from, from, the, from your last game's uh, experience? It's been four years, so I've got four more years of experience and a bit more mature, I'd say, in the ring, making smarter decisions and whatnot. Yeah. New Zealand boxing team, there's a heap of you here. What do you guys kind of get, get from each other and the different experiences and, and your team culture? Yeah, we all bring different styles, so uh, boxing's a cool sport, the styles make the fight, so um, we're, we're always looking at each other and um, looking to develop and, and hopefully take in um, aspects from everyone, so yeah. it should be exciting. And Ryan, coming to a game like this, what does it mean to you to, to be here and to represent New Zealand and, and representing your family and the hard work that you've put in to, to get to this point? I've been boxing since I was eight, so it's like always been my dream. You can go back in primary schools and we're like, what do you want to do when you grow up? Common games will be in there for sure, so it's pretty fulfilling to finally be here. Awesome. And hopes, dreams, expectations? Or I imagine you've got, you've got one side and one side only? Yeah, you don't right. come here to lose. Really, we're here to win, and that's it. <laughs> Medals is what we want. Love it. I'm not leaving without them. <laughs> Troy and Taz, the New Zealand boxing team. How many of there are you guys? What an amazing team, Troy. Can you tell us a little bit about your group and what, what, what looks like a really neat bunch of athletes? Yeah, well, we've just done, um, just been away for a week in Canberra doing a tra training camp, so we've got to, and we did Colorado earlier in the year, so we've had a chance to, you know, get to know each other, and it's a really, really cool bunch of people. How are you finding village life? I know you guys came in very late last night. What's it like so far? It's amazing. It's bigger than like the town I grew up in. <laughs> Where did you grow up? Yes. Oh wow! <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your journey to get here and to be competing at the Commonwealth Games for the first time. I started out in a garage training with my dad and um, my coach. And then like, they kind of just pushed me into the ring and I just really enjoyed it. Here you are. Is that the beauty of your sport, Troy, that you can start in the garage and now you can be in an event like this? Yeah, anything's possible, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, what about you? What, what's your weight class? What, what are your expectations for, for these games? Um, so I'm fighting in a 60kg class. Um, expectations, well, I, I'm aiming for the goals. <laughs> so there you go. Set it high. Well, absolutely, no point being here otherwise, exactly. right? Um, you've got likes of Alexis and, and David and Patrick that have been here before. What do you what do you kind of glean out of those guys and their experiences? Um, I think Taz said so. Like I ask, we are rooming with Alexis, so we do ask a lot because you know she gives us a heads up on what's to come. So it's like, what was today? What they're going to do? Yeah, yeah. So and just um, just drawing on their knowledge because they have been to them. Hey, it's quite nice. It's quite nice having some people that can just give you a little bit of. It helps with the overwhelming feeling that you can get. Yeah. yeah.